The game started off as the hottest spot in freezing East Lansing. Sparty's offense showed poise after a botched 47-yard OSU field goal turned into a five-play, 70-yard scoring drive capped by a 15-yard touchdown to Keith Mumphrey. OSU's JT Barrett rumbled in from five yards out on the following four-play, 70-yard drive to tie it up 7-all. MSU would later stall on offense and punt, only to have it recovered on the OSU 33-yard line. Jeremy Langford then hopped on the momentum train and took it to the house on his first carry. Three minutes into the second, and JT Barrett dives into the end zone to tie it up at 14-all. Spartans move in front 21-14, and this would be the last time they held the lead. You know, we got a chance. We go in for a touchdown, get a holding call. Makes it 28-14, but they take it off the board. We miss the field goal. So next play is a 79-yard touchdown. So it goes from... Uh, 28 to 14 to 21 all, and all of a sudden momentum just flipped. And, you know, I think they played their best. You know, their best. You know, they came in for revenge, and, and then they got it. We didn't. We didn't. You know, step up and and uh, and meet the challenge. Sophomore tight end Josiah Price was able to score in the fourth, and Jeremy Langford dug in for the last green and white touchdown of the afternoon. A cold day in East Lansing might have just gotten a little bit colder with a huge loss to the Buckeyes by a score of 49 to 37. Michigan State's playoffs hopes are all but dashed now that they have two losses, but if the chips fall in their favor, they may have an outside shot at going to Dallas. They play Maryland next week. In East Lansing and Spartan Stadium, I'm Chance McBride, Home TV.